did like, you ever imagine that things would go so well so quickly? Uh, hoped and prayed about it. So that's what happened. Uh, I'm just really thankful about how it's been going and just excited for what's to come. Is it weird to think a year ago, Miles, you might be prepping for like a Blanchett or a Eastside Catholic <laughs> or one of those teams? Yeah, it actually is because uh, on our bye week, I wanted to go see uh, O'Day play Blanchett, and it was just like, wow, I was here last year. But yeah, it's a little different. Patience is something hard for running back to kind of figure out. Uh, when did that kind of click in with your offensive line that wait for the hole to develop? Um, it's what we work on every day in practice, and they're doing a great job up front. They're making it easy for me and all the other running backs. So, I mean, it's more on them, and they're doing their job, and they just open up the holes, and so I do just run through them. Is, a, is a, there a runner that you, you know, maybe growing up, did you emulate or just wanted to be like? Uh, my older brother, I guess, yeah. He used to play football. That's what got me into football. Yeah. And um, his name Ivan, you Ivan. asking? Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, he played at where? He didn't, he played like, High school, but I mean, when I was little, I wanted to run like him. And that's, what, that's how it is. Was, was there kind of an aha moment for you, Miles, where you kind of maybe someone told you, whether it was maybe Coach Kohler or maybe one of your teammates, where it was like you have a chance to play in college and you have a chance to be pretty special? Um, yes. uh, I guess. I mean, my coaches like had faith in me in high school. I mean, they said I was pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, not really like an aha moment. It's just kind of keep chipping away, keep on playing football because they love it, and that's just where it's put me. How about a tailback here at UW? Who did you like? Chris Polk, maybe Sankey? Is somebody fit your I, mold? I like all those guys, but I'm going to have to say Polk. Or, yeah, I'm going to have to say Polk because, I mean, he's just real exciting and real tough, so I like that about him. Is uh, just any of this just kind of hard or, or just difficult or, or just wasn't what you thought it would be? Not hard or difficult, just... Uh, just new, just a lot of new, more like new stuff, uh, school-wise, because we didn't start school until like almost like third or fourth game in, and uh, it was just different, kind of getting adjusted to school and then trying to fit in whatever I got to do for schoolwork and watching film and meetings and stuff. But I'm getting adjusted to it just fine, and it's working out just fine. Uh, there's been a lot of talk lately about the, the late starts uh, and how it affects players, especially recovery, whether it's on the road and you're getting home late. Have, have you felt the effects in any way of? the late starts you guys have had? Um, no, I wouldn't say so because on Sunday we have practice pretty late and then I usually go home after practice so it's able to like kind of recoup, go home, eat my, be kick it with my mom and dad so I mean, it doesn't really affect me. You College like, kid just waking up at 8 p.m. aren't you? On a yeah. Saturday night? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like having that, that Sunday practice? I know not, not everybody does that but there's imagine well, some benefits to getting right back out there. I like it because, I mean, we don't have Monday practice, and uh, nobody really likes Mondays, so it helps out. I wanted to ask you about one of the plays against Stanford. Uh -huh. You ran over the safety. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about film session, what you saw on that, and what the reaction was, and how many times was it played? Because <laughs> um, you rocked him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the game, I saw him coming from, like, a distance, and I was going to try to make a cut off of him, and I just couldn't, so I just kind of just put my shoulder into it, and then that's what came out of it. I don't think, like... I don't know. I was trying to run the touchdown. He was in the way. So. Hey, uh, just, just for people that don't know you, how would you describe yourself? Uh, just chill, I guess. I like to go home, hang out with mom and dad, talk to family, all that stuff. But I guess. Uh, you said you have an older brother. How many other siblings? Just him. Just yeah. him. Your family lives in Linwood. Yep. And just how have you dealt with? The, maybe the physical aspect of it, Miles, because I know a lot of freshmen talk about the speed of the game being different. How about the physical component? Because Pete's always talked about how physical the, the running backs have to deal with that. Yeah, um, I would say during camp, because like, that's when we really hit every day and stuff like that, that was a big leap because, I, in my opinion, we have the best defense in the Pac-12, starting with like D-line, Azeem, Keyshawn, all those guys. They, they just know how to play football. And uh, adjusting to those guys, that's a – that's an eye opener, and uh, I think it helped out a lot to playing games now. But it took a minute, but it was all right. Who um, kicked you the hardest? Who hit me the hardest? <laughs> uh, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> what, what have you seen from Arizona this week? What, what, what have you seen on film? Very athletic team. Very athletic defense. 